come to the 10 days of prayer 2024. These 10 days are dedicated to rejoicing in prayer together and enhancing our experience with God. Throughout this week, we will focus on the priorities of faith. And today's discussion centers on the blessings of waiting. Shall we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for everything that you have done for us. And we ask you to send the Holy Spirit now to help us to uh, understand how it's important we wait on you. Uh, help us to be patient and to have faith that you are guiding our lives. Thank you so much for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible verse for today is found in Psalms 46, 10 and says, Be still and know I am God. The biblical virtue of slowing down. In an age of constant movement and noise pollution, nothing is more critical than stillness and quiet. In our hectic modern life, daily urgencies demand our attention. We have become accustomed to a fast food mentality where we expect things the quickest possible way. We have forgotten how to wait patiently and this impatience can leak into our spiritual walk with devastating effects. The visual impulse and acoustic distractions of this hyperconnect age make it even harder to slow down and become still. Learning to wait in quietness and focusing our thoughts on divine matters as we talk with God may seem like a strange practice for many people today, but it is a biblical virtue that needs to be revived. Cultivating a quiet space that is not crowded with other urgencies and preserving unclaimed time is crucial to connecting with God. To slow down, to sit still, to breathe, to remind ourselves of God's tender care, to patiently wait and not to get nervous if God does not immediately answer our prayers. These are arts that we need to learn afresh. Benefits of waiting. Throughout scripture, we encounter God's people in an attentive attitude of waiting. Biblical writers often express their waiting expectations with a question, how long, O oh Lord? There is no hope without waiting. There is no endurance without waiting. There is no patience without waiting. There is no longing without waiting. There is no life without waiting. There is no human history without waiting. Waiting is part of human existence. While waiting, we often focus on the problems that are unpleasant and hope they will pass away. But waiting does not mean sitting passively, doing nothing, and hoping that an unpleasant situation will, be, will somehow disappear. From a biblical perspective, the primary purpose of waiting is to bring to light who I am and who I am becoming while I wait. The experience of waiting confronts me with a significant spiritual decision. In my impatience and doubt, do I question God's goodness and omnipotence, or do I recognize that in waiting I am confronted with a unique opportunity that will help me to become the person God wishes me to be? Through the experience of waiting, I can become the person I would never uh, have been otherwise. If we look at it this way, waiting becomes God's means of transformation to change us according to His will. Thus, waiting is truly an expression of God's goodness and grace. It helps us to become more like God who waits in great patience, not waiting anyone to be lost who could still be saved. So, let's pray together. God, 
We have been restless. We have allowed ourselves to become so busy and stressed, thinking that if we are not, then we are somehow worthless. Oh God, we need your help to slow down, to learn to simplify the still. Our minds have been wired by social expectations to always be racing towards something. Help us to appreciate the virtue of stillness and to gain the blessings it brings. Speak the words, be still into our impatient hearts. Amen. Thank you for your attention and see you tomorrow for our day four. Music